know, I think women often deal more with mythology and archetypes and dreams in their work, maybe, than, than maybe that's the difference between a male, I don't think, female, I don't know. I know, um, you know, a lot of the, like Vivian spells have a lot of, to do with symbolism and metaphor. Um, more poetic and more dreamlike, I think, than some of the male filmmakers were making. Uh, and Betty Gordon, too, of course, empty suitcases. Um, that's a very difficult question for me to answer. I, I, I think, um, you know, we were, I think also the, the women filmmakers were also kind of, as women are in this industry, were somewhat underrated and, and their films were under viewed and underprojected, uh, and the men's films were, of course, given a little more attention. Um, but I think that, that I think there are a lot of incredible women filmmakers working today that are having a rough time uh, trying to get stuff done, including myself. Um, but like, well, Phil Klein, it's easier for me to talk about Phil. Um, Phil is, uh, Phil Klein is an amazing composer. He, the part where she's driving and there's that strange dreamlike music that's, that was elevator music that he collaged together. And I went over his apartment before I made the film and I went, I have to use that piece somewhere. That's incredible. And um, Phil, I don't know if you guys know about this thing called Unsilent Night that Phil does at Christmas time, where he gives like 2,000 tapes and tape players and people walk through the streets of Manhattan with holding these boom boxes and playing these tapes and they echo, he gets the most, uh, you know, he finds uh, streets that will really, uh, the sound will really bounce around and stuff and then he, he has this whole procession and it's grown, it was like 100 people when it started and now it's like two or 3,000 people who come for this unsilent night, all over the world he does them now. And, um, and he, actually he and Jim are preparing an uh, opera about Tesla, Nikola Tesla, and, um, and then he also did the music for my film Sleepwalk. Uh, and he would give me pieces of music and then I'd place them accordingly. Um, you know, he, he would give me a sort of feeling and an ambulance, an ambience and then I would place the music where I thought it was appropriate. And I have also, I do a lot with music and using effects, sound effects. In, 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 and I sort of weave sound effects into the music to make them almost part of the music as well, which I've done with all my films. <laughs>